So, uh, there's definitely a lot more than I thought there was going to be. And why is this pair so special that it came in a bag all by itself? It's definitely a lot lighter than it looks because, I mean, it's, it's foam shoes. I will also say I'm pretty surprised at how quick all of this turned up. Like, I was expecting to wait months. It was about two weeks max. See, what we got in this big box first, you fully realize you're not paying for the unboxing experience. You feel like there's a bunch of dodgy stuff in here. All right, let's see. First pair comes in a bag. Holy hell. Okay, this one is uh, definitely wild. At least it comes in a Ziploc. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was how freaking light these things are. Like, these weigh nothing. They're also insanely soft. Look at how soft that is. That's like freaking marshmallows, man. These feel like they're gonna be insanely comfortable. So let me just quickly slap them on and let you guys know how comfortable these things are. Let me give you a little on-foot look at these bad boys. They don't even really feel like shoes, to be honest. They feel like so soft that they just feel like like an extra pair of socks or something. Feels like they're going to disintegrate really quickly and that's probably why like actual shoe companies don't use whatever material this is. It'll probably last you a couple months if you wanted to wear them around. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we got another pair of croc looking shoes. They're just as soft. So here you go, you can see how soft it is. Uh, I like the design though. I think the design is pretty cool. Okay, these are definitely better than the last ones just because they have a thicker midsole so they actually feel like a freaking pair of shoes on your foot and not like a pair of socks like the last ones we just looked at. Fishing for gold. Let's see what we got. Damn, okay. Very, very similar to the last one. You know what? I think these designs are original. If you know if there's like a real pair of these things or any of the other ones that we've taken a look at, uh, let me know down in the comment section. There's actually loads of pretty big companies and websites that rip off like Yeezy Foam Runners and Yeezy Slides. These by far feel like the hardest material out of all of them. They definitely are not as soft as the last one. These feel okay on foot, but uh, because the top of this is so like big and cagey, it just kind of feels like you got too much space in this pair of shoes. All right, what else we got? Okay, we're still with these goddamn Crocs. Is there anything else that I bought? Okay, but these are definitely different. Okay, same insert with the little puffy plastic thing. Okay, these actually look like they could be pretty interesting. Look at this. So it's a pair of Croc style shoes but the insole actually comes out. This feels pretty soft. It feels like it's made of the same, or oh, maybe it's a little bit, actually, yeah, this midsole is definitely softer. It's like relatively futuristic looking. I mean, a lot of these designs are actually pretty fire. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, the moment of truth, let me try these things on. Let's see if they fit better than the other ones. These are nice. I mean, they're a little bit on the small side. I wonder if any other like bigger brands are gonna kind of copy this style because I think this is pretty, this is pretty Pretty cool. Imagine that, another like massive company like Nike rips off Sheen designs. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Definitely my favorite so far. I know I got some crazy ones. Where are they at? Oh damn, <laughs> these are crazy. This, I'm sure this design was taken from someone else. This one feels incredibly cheap, but unlike the other ones where they feel super cheap, uh, these also are not as soft as the other ones. Let me try them on, see what they feel like. God damn, it looks like a face when you're staring at it like that with the mouth, like <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna lie, these things feel pretty decent on foot, uh, but I just, now that I've seen that this looks like a face, I just cannot get over that, and when I'm looking down while I'm walking around, it's actually a little bit unnerving. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. The more you look at it. We're actually gonna get this box off here so I don't have to reach around. Oh, we got a black pair. Okay, um, okay, yeah, these are just a ripoff of Crocs. In fact, I believe the Crocs Echo has like a midsole inserted into it. I don't know whether you can remove it or not, but uh, I guess we gotta try these things on. Yeah, not too bad. Again, another mid rating. Um, I kinda like the ones that have more of a unique design. All right, is this another pair of Crocs? These look different, at least this is a different print. So glued down to the bottom of this is a footbed. It's pretty much like some kind of variation on a Croc, like you've got all of the holes, you've got the sport mode strap. Ah, these are too small, my foot can't even fit in that. Actually hurt. Oh yes. What do we got here? Whoa, this is the freaking the walnut 
cracker one. Bruh, I've definitely seen people wearing these things. Is this where they get it from? Surely these cannot be comfortable. They look like they're painful to walk in. Alright, let me sink my feet into these and see what they feel like. What? I don't actually mind that feeling. There's like, you can feel all of the like round balls kind of like on your feet. I actually don't hate it. Alright, we gotta be nearing the end, surely. Okay. Another pair of Crocs. Holy! Probably the softest I've felt. They added this footbed into it. Something I didn't even notice until now. This look familiar, guys? The top of this? Got a real pair over here. It's the foam runner on the top of the Croc. Ever wondered what a Croc foam runner crossover would look like? This is it right here. Foam runner Crocs are not as comfortable as I thought they were gonna be. We got like two pairs left. These are interesting. I mean, look at that outside design. That's like some kind of 3D printed style. This definitely has a weird texture to it, which is actually pretty cool. Now it doesn't look like a face, it looks like something else. Okay, these are definitely comfortable. Maybe one of the most comfortable. Design is a little bit questionable, I will say that, but uh, they don't feel bad. All right, final pair in the box. Oh damn, okay. This one is actually pretty cool. It's so weird, it's like they've taken elements from the foam runner uh, like obviously the color, the mixture effect. Like you can see there's a lot of foam runner in there. It's just different. This midsole is thick. Let me try these things on and tell you guys how they feel on foot. These might be the most comfortable out of all of them. I think it's because it's so thick on here. It kind of feels like extra chunky when you're wearing it. This might be a front runner for comfort so far. All right, we got a big bag. Hair number one. Is this just the same as the rest? Well, this is... <laughs> This is the Yeezy 450 if it was Crocs. We're, we're getting all kinds of new creations. Why does this look so small as well? I guess we're gonna try them on. They're solid and they're instantly the most uncomfortable ones for sure. They just don't feel nice on my foot at all. Right, what else we got? Damn, okay, these are different. Some kind of dinosaur egg looking thing. This is so weird. Okay, we're back to marshmallow fluff being the base for this material. Look at this. If you guys can see inside, that is all like this fluffy material. Oh man, this is literally like putting a pillow on your foot. Like if you cut a hole in a pillow and just put your foot inside, these are probably gonna be the most comfortable. This material is super thin, so you can almost feel the ground when you're walking around, which, yeah, I imagine like after a couple weeks of wearing these things, you're gonna be like wearing right down to just literally feels like you're walking on the ground. All right. Final package, this has got to be the special one, surely. I think we've looked at these things before. These uh, look like Crocs, they feel pretty hard. Let's try them on. Yeah, they feel alright. Alright, and in summary, because we took a look at so many pairs, here's my top three. This one for being the absolute softest, crazy material I've ever felt. Uh, these, I think, look pretty cool and are uh, actually okay in terms of comfort. They're actually pretty decent in terms of comfort, not gonna lie. Freaking dinosaur egg looking ones for uh, a whole new experience of slipper. That is incredibly comfortable inside. That's my top three for whatever that's worth. If you wanna check out the time where I bought a bunch of fake Yeezy foam runners, check out that video right there. You are